I guess I messed with the wrong group that time. The solution for time-strapped gamers like Charity appears in the form of a new kind of business, power leveling. Patrick is an entrepreneur who came up with a novel idea. For a price, he will play the game for you and kill monsters on your behalf. When I started, it was just kind of a side thing. But within six months of it, I, I was thinking maybe I should stop looking for a job and just make this my full-time job because the numbers were beginning to be um, more, more serious. And after a year, I decided, you know what, this, this is a business. Patrick set up a company where gamers can pay to have the power of their characters increased. First, the player has to decide how much stronger they want to be. Initially, the prices actually for virtual services were very high. Even someone in the US doing this full time could make a decent amount. If you knew how to play the games well, you could make a very nice salary. Soon, Patrick had competition from power levelers based in the developing world. Some individuals out of Eastern Europe, Asia, Mexico started offering services at prices that were much lower. And then it started to really not be worthwhile for me to be doing the actual work. As costs went up and his business grew, Patrick decided to do what many entrepreneurs do, outsource his labor into cheaper foreign markets. He found Romania. With the new competition, Patrick has outsourced the labor of playing game characters to Romania, and he needs someone to run the operation. In the post-Soviet era, this country has had a hard time finding its footing. Wages are low, unemployment is rampant, good jobs are scarce. It's very, very hard to find a place to work and a place where, uh, each, where it's safer to work. Because you can find a job to sell something in the market and in the next day you find yourself unemployed. Adrian's dream was to become a veterinarian, but he couldn't afford the education. One day, he stumbled across Patrick's ad online. Actually, I never saw that he will answer, but one night uh, he, he answered and uh, I was shaking and uh, I talked to him and he agreed to give us a chance and uh, provided us with uh, everything that uh, we needed. We started with five computers and uh, now we have 30 computers four rooms of computers and a lot of people who are working for us. This idea that we are supposed to play for someone else is completely new to me. I was very surprised to learn that I would be doing their job. But I guess it's a good thing. It's nice to help people. When they receive Charity's order, the team gets to work. The company has come up with its own system for supersizing anemic characters like Chilled Bubbly. I organize them like uh, the military with lieutenants, uh, supervisors. We are working 24-7 in uh, three shifts. Nobody leaves uh, from work without my permission. And uh, when the shift changes, uh, the new people that came continue the other's uh, work. If we understood the reality that sin no longer had power over us, that when we were to sin, it would grieve us so deeply. With the guys in Romania playing her character around the clock, it will take about 10 days to level Chilled Bubbly up to 40. In the time that Chilled Bubbly sits on the Romanian servers, Charity has no access to her character. Yeah. 
know, Cherry, Cherry's, Cherry's going to be level 40. Are you serious? Yeah. It's good surprising. night. I kept seeing your character on, and I kept sending tells to you, but you weren't responding. Yeah, see, it wasn't, it wasn't really you. me. It wasn't really me. <laughs> you must thought you she must have been playing like a madman, Well, I right? can figure out why she was playing and you weren't. <laughs> It's like, what's up with this, you know? Which is in the background changing diapers or something, you know? I mean, part of the pain is, is your butt going numb from so many hours getting the experience points to get your character up to that level. And then you go pay somebody somewhere else to do it. That's cheating. I mean, it's, it's, it's taking the shortcut. You haven't really earned your gamer stripes by power leveling to 50. I'm sorry. So we should look down on you because you're a lowly level 30, 20? No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not one of these people that make a religion out of it, but I think if you're... Put in my time in the game, believe me. Right. She'll, like, play... If you really loved her, you'd play your character yourself <laughs> and, and put the time in yourself instead of paying somebody in Romania to yeah, do it. I know a wife, too, you know. <laughs> I'm okay. It's a very weird economy because it's an economy of time. And this is why you start to see these sweatshops appearing in underdeveloped countries is because you have a lot of people that are cash poor but time rich. And time is the currency in online worlds. I try to imagine that when someone is sending her character to be power leveled, during we are using her character, she's playing with her child with a dog somewhere in a place with a lot of grass. Instead of staying all the time at the computer and maybe uh, to be angry and be nervous and uh, all that. Ziggity hot ziggity! Ten days after Charity sent Chilled Bubbly off to Romania, she has come home. Hey Rich, look, it yeah. says, yeah, it says your leveling is completed, you are now level 40, and two million influence bonus. Let's see what you can do. I would like to see you be able to solo. That would be well, great. that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, now that's something yes, new. Yes, I didn't know yes. you could do that. Oh! Oh, I see it, and they slow down. Oh, whoa, you're not even doing anything. I know, I'm just, just sitting he's, here. He's, he's just... In the virtual universe, there really aren't any borders. You know, it just so happens that Romania is a place where people can get this game and learn how to play it, and labor there is inexpensive, so... And it seems, it's, I think it's a good deal for them. So, it seems like a... Yeah, nice work if you can get it. <laughs> I think uh, the idea itself is a genius idea. I like very much to work uh, with a company from America. Actually, it's something that uh, I can be proud of. Uh, i never been to California, maybe I will one day. How small is the world? I mean, this connects us. It's like making friends all over the world, and uh, you can be there just with one click of the mouse. A few months later, Patrick decided to open a second operation in the Philippines, a place where labor is even cheaper. 